Greetings everyone, it is the Ash Heritor, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. Apologies for my absence, I was on vacation in the Black Forest for the last week, so I did not have any internet access, nor access to my PC. So, uh, yeah, that's why there was no recordings. I also didn't really, uh, plan it out super well in advance, so I'll try and do that a little bit better next time I go anywhere, but, uh, no guarantees. But here we are. We have control over all Andalus. Our situation is relatively stable. Look in here, we do have this faction who wants to install Emir Abdullah of Sarakusta onto the throne of Al-Sark. Which uh, would not be great. Our other thing that we need to look at is we really need to end the struggle. Um, and unfortunately, we are currently stuck in the dominance ending, which, the dominance ending is going to be really hard to pull off. Because we need to make sure that there are 19 counties in Al Andalus that are Kurtuban and Neomuladi, or Maliki, as we have called them. Okay, that is a lot, considering that it's taking 12 years to convert to Neomuladi, and it's taking 16 years to convert the culture of some of these regions. It's, it's going to be hard to pull off dominance, and I don't think we're, it's going to happen in our lifetime, which means we need to make sure that the succession falls into line. Um, so I'm just going to double check here. I think I already... Okay, um, we need to change the uh, gender law. Oh no, can't change them. Uh, why not? What's, uh, what's the problem here? I need high crown authority. Okay. Okay. Um, so we need to increase our crown authority. Um, because we need to basically, um... I know this is gonna sound bad. And, you know, on a moral level, I would agree. It is bad. Uh, but we need to stop women from inheriting. Because, <laughs> uh, right now it's just gonna cause an absolute mess, considering I have two daughters. Because right now, if I do that, I only have to worry about one extra son, uh, who I can... Actually, he's pretty good. Uh, he's better than this. You're a drunk. Hold on, who is my heir already? I think, I think, uh, yeah, it's been a while. Okay. She's my heir, Sophia here. She's okay. He's already been disinherited because he's a drunkard. Okay, so that, that's gonna make it easier. So basically, if we can get to high crown authority, we can adjust that and, um, make sure that we only have one son. Um, in the meantime, in order to prevent any further problems, we... I mean, we're going down learning anyways. We should go to, to, uh, restraint as soon as we possibly can to make sure that we don't have any more sons. Okay, so we can transfer a, uh, shake here. Yeah, just, just do it. Oops, not what I wanted. Okay, we can change our contract here. Alright, so we have a feudal contract here with, uh... Chaika Rai Bint Garcia of Avila. She is a Neomuladi Andalusian here who controls Avila. Um, we have a hook on her. Right. Do we have a hook on her? No, we don't. Actually, we do. Um, but we can change her. Let's bring her to high. Or do we, we grant her something else in return? Who are you? Are you getting any good? No, you don't get council rights, that's for sure. Um, protection against title revocation? I don't really want to do that. We'll just use our hook. That'll be fine. She'll lose some opinion of us, but that's okay. We'll get more money out of her. We can negotiate an alliance with Sheikh Duice. Ah, yes. My nephew. We shall do so. He's of uh, Caradania. We have a claim on Viso. Oh, no. Somebody else has a claim on Viso. Uh, Viso must be... Where? Anso, Duke Alfonso's bishop, has been digging up spurious contracts and fabricating histories. Now Duke... Alfonso, sorry, not Alfonso, dares to act, or dares to, a dares act as if it all amounts to a legitimate claim on the Sheikhdom of Viso. Alright, where the hell is this? Oh, that's all the way over here. Alright, I, I read the EU lettering and thought, must be French, but yeah, Portuguese also has that a little bit, man, doesn't it? Okay, romance, poetic license, okay, um, let's see here, what, uh, we, uh, we will compliment her, uh, 
Youthful vigor. No. Strength of body. Yeah, there we go. She's pale, so. Hopefully that'll work out for us. We can designate a guardian for Malika here. Um, who will raise her? Let's actually have our wife raise her. Or let's see what she's going into first. Okay, so she is charming, which actually is better off to send her into diplomacy. So that is the charm-focused one. And we need to find her a uh, diplomat. You know, actually, I'm just going to let my wife do that. It's fine. Okay. Great. We have ourselves an alliance, and uh, my wife liked my poem. Always good. And, um, all right. Let's see here. Faction targeting me is disbanded. Ah, okay. The, uh, the claimant faction is gone. That's good. Ah, another daughter. All right, that's fine. Tarifa? Uh, let's change your name. Aiza. That's cool. Okay. So I've got a lot of money. Um, oh no. Uh, let's see here. We have, uh... As of late, all of my visits to Rabia have been ruined by my vassal, Emir Muadam. Uh, Muadam, what's... what's the deal? Okay, he follows her everywhere like a lost puppy. He is, his attempts to charm the lady are laughable, yet I feel his persistence will be rewarded. Uh, we could... we could poison him. Um... We could pay him to stop. Let's just pay him to stop. I've got the money to do so. Alright, he accepts the bribe. Very good. And, um, yeah, so we have Fortuba back, which is hugely important. We also have Yayan. So let's upgrade Yayan. Uh, let me make sure we aren't missing out on anything here. Okay, no. Um, actually, what I can do is I can upgrade the castles now, right? I'm already doing that. Never mind. Can I upgrade the temples? No. Um, then we're just going to have to wait for the castle there. Um, oop, stop it. And, um, actually, we may as well start upgrading the one here in Yayan as well. Let's do that. What else do I control? I don't think I control any other territories directly aside from uh, Barcelona. Okay, uh, the wild hunt. So when Malika Arabia suggests a hunt, I do not hesitate to organize one. I would do anything for the mere glimpse of my sweetness. Uh, I find that the, the, the text of these events should be different when you're already married to the person. Yeah, we'll, uh, We'll go rescue her. Great. All right. So we have uh, we have romanced her. We are now soulmates. Excellent. Very good. Did I get uh, prestige for that? I don't know. I think you're supposed to get prestige for that, but I didn't see it, and it's fine. So, in the last episode, we did invade the Kingdom of Lyon, and we took several territories using the struggle. Um, the border struggle, Casas Belli, which was pretty effective, because we took over quite a lot. Um, so I definitely think we need to uh, keep doing that. Um, do we have a better option for a steward? We do, technically, um, but you need a place on our council, so I think firing him is not going to be a very good idea. Um, let's see here. What else can we do? Are there any places where we can bestow royal favor? Well, uh, you? No. What about Saracusta? He, he likes us enough. Um, he does not. Let's actually bestow some royal favor to him. No, hold on. So, just checking exactly. Okay, this grants me prestige per month and counselor's diplomacy skill plus 0.5. Vassal prestige gains, vassal opinion increases. Yeah. Okay, it, it mostly does what I thought it was going to do. It's all it's in script. The latest work of my vassal sh Okay, we have another poem here. No matter how many days twist and pass, winds whisper coldly through the grass. Without him, we are but hollow shells. Our misery festers, our hearts rebel. Alright, yeah. It's heartfelt. Good on you. Okay, you rule from... Okay, actually, you're currently in a conflict here, so let's let's look and see who do we actually really need to have... Um, up to light to light. You know what? We'll, we'll um, send him to bestow royal favor to uh, 
You lied to lie there. Were you... Shit, you were still in, uh, integrating a title. Integrate title. Okay, yeah, that's gonna still take 30 years, but, you know, it, it might work. That'd be pretty good. Alright. Um... Sophia comes of age. The sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed literal, uh, little natural inclination towards careful planning such as Sophia can come to truly understand its uses. Now, it is harder to say, however. Now, it is harder to say, however. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh! Okay. Everything that is tasked of her is done by others before she gets to it. And she never tells petty lies the way she used to. Perhaps she was not as clever as she seemed after all. Hedda's contributions towards Sophia's education cannot go unmentioned. Her guidance has helped the child reach further than I ever could have. Well, she's an elusive shadow, so that's... That's interesting. Fortunately, her stats are not very good, and her traits do not really uh, go very well with being an elusive shadow. I mean, Gregarious is fine, but Content, not so much. Okay, uh, you want to invite me to a feast? I will gladly come to a feast. Okay. Hopefully the feast all goes well and no one dies. Conversation partner. Alright, so we are talking to Shaka Hamal, who uh, rules... Ulumria. Alright. As one plate of food is placed by the next, my acquaintance Sheikha ha Hayal, sorry, goes on about tome collections, and that was what and that was how we salvaged this mesh. Are you sure I'm not boring you, my lord? What's um what's my stress at, actually? Uh, I have a bit of stress, so I could either gain an interesting conversation or I could do this. Let's actually do this. Lose a bit of stress, and we might be able to turn her into a friend. Beast, the dilemma! Alright, another person. Wali Ajir. Ajdir, sorry. Um, do this. Losing even more stress. Very good. How's Barcelona looking? Ah, we can totally build more here. Um, I'm not in control of this duchy, though, so that's a bit of an issue. Um, is it worth it? That's the question. Not sure it's worth it to... Uh, Build more there directly. I could build another castle here. I mean, it's a border region, I guess. No. Oh. It's Catalan, right. Right. Beast returning home. For all my vassals. Everything has gone well, and we are now 100% out of stress. That's good. Uh oh. Burying the hatchet. Malik abide. We have had our differences in the past, but don't you agree it is time to let bygones be bygones? So, Amhad ibn Balashk. My brother and rival. Uh, yeah, I do not need my brother as a rival, but, uh, let's, let's let bygones be bygones, indeed. That'd be good. Alright, so we have our tier 2 castle. Very solid, which means we can actually upgrade some of these buildings here. Um, so, we can upgrade the regimental clearings, or we can upgrade the bailey. Let's upgrade the bailey. First, I always like to upgrade my fortifications. First, that's, uh, you know, it's good. Alright, my baby- oh, great. Twins, huh? Okay, um, Ubada here, let's- let's call him, um... Duhair and Yasmin, alright. How's this- okay, he's- he's okay. He's alright. But, we need to, uh, figure out what to do with him. Case worthy of Iberia, the lands Sheikh Yassid, the lands of Sheikh Yassid are ripe for development. States my steward Abu Bakr. With your funding, we could secure the Kas we could secure Kasur Abidanis against our enemies in wait at a greatly reduced cost. Sheikh Nuno has petitioned for a Christian-style Kasbah to be built on it, offering some of his own coin in an attempt at swaying your opinion. However, your other vassals demand that we stick to the local Maliki architects, regardless of who you pick. This will be a golden opportunity to strengthen the realm as a whole. Alright, so where where is this? Um of Abidanis. Okay, so that's basically Portugal. We don't actually need to worry. Yeah, look at that. Um Start a construction of a castle in Avis. 95 will be refunded if the Yeah, this is way cheaper. I mean, okay, it's 40 cheaper. Every powerful Muslim vassal loses 15 opinion of me. That is terrible. Then we'll just do it like this. 
Okay. Book gained. Um, okay. So, she's trying to seduce me. Estefania here. Um, her husband's in prison, so she must be getting a little feisty. Uh, I'm gonna tell her to abandon this foolish endeavor. I'm not. I'm not interested in being seduced. No thanks. Okay, so, yeah, we're building a castle here. Cool. It was a little event that allowed us to uh, build a cheaper castle in this region. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. That ain't bad. All right. Titles can be created. We should do that. The Duchy of Algarve will be right over here. I will create that. And we can create the Duchy of Coimbra. I will also do. And we should award these to people. So, you may have the Duchy of Algarve. We're going to give it to him, and then we're going to convert him to a uh, Neo Muladi. So, sorry, a Maliki. Excuse me. Uh, what? I can't for some reason. Oh, God. Yeah, here we go. Sorry, it was <laughs> named differently. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give him that. There we go, you're now an Emir. And, uh, Coimbra, which I believe was right up here, right? And Kulumbria, yeah? Okay, who do we give it to? Pick Abdal Rahman, you're already a Mualadi. That's pretty good. Uh, you don't like me, so we're definitely not gonna give it to you. We're not gonna give it to a Catholic. Uh, you're a new Mualadi and a Kurtuban, but you're not particularly good at your job. Whereas, you have very high learning, so we're gonna grant it to him. I'm gonna give him, uh, Club Maria. There you go, sir. All yours. Um, however, you should convert. You should also convert. Use the hook. That's be Allah. Both of them convert. Actually, we need to look over our land and make sure that everybody is of our correct faith. Because that might allow some of them to... Convert their own territories under our control. Okay, she does not want to have it. She's Mualadi and a Radonite. Okay. Um, what about down here? It's Bilia, huh? You are... You're new Mualadi? Great. You're new Mualadi. Sorry, Maliki. Be calling it. Okay, you're Ashari. So we need to... We need to sort him out. Um... I will actually start swaying him. I think that's gonna be good. And what else should we do? I think that's all we can do right there. He's a Catholic. We can convert him, though. Um, should be a very high likely chance of him uh, joining the fold. Blessed be Allah. Excellent. He joins us in our one true faith. All right. Um, I need to go into anatomical studies and then restraint, like, immediately. We can't have any more sons, otherwise this is going to get real messy. Um, inspiration project... Uh, let's see, any of these guys good? She is very competent at her craft. She is very competent at her craft. No, masters only, or excellent craftsmen. Okay, my friend Wali Ajdir died. That's unfortunate. I just made friends with him. And we have another disbanded faction. So all there is left is the lower crown authority faction. And they're not really a threat at this point. Like, just one lowly, uh, lowly character. So we're looking pretty good. Our realm is very stable. Uh, I beckon my Alama, Abdul Rahman, to join me in the circle of brass orbs and candles arranged on staves throughout the dark room. The incense cloying the air to ward off the bad vapors makes our eyes tear up in little time. This is how, through the corner of our eyes, we will spot the inscru inscrutable form of angels. However, Abdul Rahman soon takes pause. It feels wrong. These are divine beings, not meant for mortal eyes to see. Okay, um... I mean, I'm an esoteric, right? A pious am I, really? I'm humble. Yes, this is a fool's errand, if not a sin itself. Uh, I, I'm humble, so I am going to uh, agree with him. It's not my place to look upon angels. Although, uh, Apparently the, uh, the, the angels of, uh, Islam are a bit less terrifying than the, uh, <laughs> the biblical angels. <laughs> Rather otherworldly, still. Uh, that much is very, uh, very clear from what I've been told. But, uh, less cosmic horror. 
which, you know, it's just my bias. I like my cosmic horror angels, all right? But, uh, you know, teach their own. Um... All right, Barcelona. Do I upgrade Barcelona? You know, I may as well. Let's just do it. Um, there's a significant chance that I'm going to hold on to this territory, so... Secret exposed! Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't care, in the slightest. Um, you're a witch. Guest of, uh... Actually, if you're a witch... Should we just expose him as a witch? It's, uh... You're a guest in... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to expose you... As a witch. Wasn't my son a witch? Yeah, he was also a witch. Yeah, we're gonna have no witches. Not allowed. Ah, oh, God, get out of here with this event. No witches in this campaign. Alright, four-player chessboard. I do want to repair. And the money. Alright, let's, uh, let's crank up the speed. We've got, we've got time. We need to, uh... Ah, another child of my dynasty, my moon. Good name. He's unfortunately a wild oat, but uh, I can't do anything about that. Ah, Abdullah is dead. All right, that's uh, that's a problem. I was trying to sway him. So now, who is in charge of this territory? What um? You already knew Muladi. Was it? Was I looking somewhere else? It was here. All right. So we need to sway him instead. Then, Daoud. Hopefully we can get him to max, uh, and then from there we can convert him to Neomuladi. Not that it really matters there, um, but we just really got to try and get our culture and our faith. Oh man, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a li little bit of work to get there. Oh shit, we don't even have it in our own hometown. That's that's pretty bad. All right, claiming to be an exile from a faraway land, Princess Svenislava has appeared in court accompanied by a vast array of exotic animals and has already performed an in performed incredible works of charity throughout the streets of Kurtuba. Ah, Svenislava, where are you from? <laughs> Fabulous she, Svenislava. Okay, so she's Russian. She's Slovianskan. Okay, the magnanimous wealthy foreigner has declared her intent to marry my son Balashk. As much as the court is abuzz with enthusiasm for this exotic princess, not everyone is convinced. My kinswoman Dima claims to have never heard of a distant land the foreigner claims to be from, and she cannot find it on any maps. She, along with several other like-minded followers, have denounced Princess Svenislava as a charlatan and insist that we punish her for attempting to deceive Balashk into marrying a lowborn. I mean, she's part of a dynasty, that much we can see here. She's not bad, she's got the strong trait. You know what? Fine. I'm... Okay, so she wants to marry Balashk here. Balashk is my witch son, so it's really, like, it doesn't matter. And I'm getting a ton of money out of this, so... You know what? Fine. Marry the, uh, marry the Slavic princess. It's, uh... We'll give her what she wants. Okay, um... Of course he will be there, Ubaid. Uh, so Ubaid is my actual heir. Uh, don't fucking drown. Like, you are your quality heir. I should educate him myself, also. Uh, does he have a focus yet? Ooh, so he is charming. So we should actually have him go down to diplomacy. All right, well, let's send him along. Um, please don't drown. While you hold the Taifa of Kurtuba and villages... Uh, and villages... While you hold the Taifa of Kurtuba and villages are overseen by my bailiffs and my magistrates... This is an... In I struggle with reading in this game. Like, I don't have this problem in anything else. And it's really because, like, the sheer amount of poorly edited sentences. I don't know. I... CA. Or, sorry, not CA. Wrong developer. Paradox. I, I know you're not listening, but on the off chance you are. You need a uh, writer. Hit me up. I am a, uh, I'm a professional. Therefore, I'm laying claim on it. Uh, if you... You are welcome to grant the title to me whenever you wish. Oh, you want the Taifa of Kurtuba, huh? Uh, I fucking appointed you. I made you an emir. You little shit. This little shit. I, I, I elevated him to the status of an emir, and he has just claimed my Taifa. 
he he may I I feel like he's delusional because he thinks that we're friends, but realistically, got my eye on you, pal. Try anything funny, and I may uh, I don't know. Make sure that you encounter an untimely accident at some point. Child returned. Okay, it's good. My uh, son did not drown. Always a plus. How else are we doing here? How's our castle coming along? Still going, still going. All right, a troubling translation. As I step over the threshold to my courtier Abdullah's office, I find him deeply bent over a book. I find him bent deeply over a book. The translation of Hippocrates. <laughs> yeah, I'm calling it that, all right? <laughs> I know how it's actually pronounced, but it's Hippocrates now, okay? It's atrocious, he says with a sigh. If I were to follow these instructions, I am as likely to cure my patient as I am to kill them outright. Uh, okay, let me have a look. So, I could increase his, uh, ooh, that would give me a 300 learning lifestyle experience. Or we could tell him to look to the Quran for guidance. Uh, no, we're gonna do this. And we almost get a thing. Okay, so Princess Sophia can marry. She can marry Prince Nasib, uh, okay, of the Aglibids. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down with that. Aglibids are powerful. Right? They're still powerful? Yeah, they're, they're good. Through downcast lashes. Oh my god, no, my heart remains pure. Stop trying to seduce me, people. I'm not interested. And we have restraints, and we are immediately, right here, right now, going to uh, embrace celibacy. Thank you. No more children. <laughs> Alright, uh, I hereby invite you to a feast at my court in Silves. It'll be a grand affair worthy of your honorable presence. No, I'm not going to your feast. I don't trust you. You just tried to fucking steal my title. I'm declining. I'm gonna hold mystical communion. I do not fully understand your habits and practices. However, I must applaud you for your obvious effort you put into your prayers. If only every true believer was as devout as you. Ah, thank you, Amir Wahida. Pleases me that you benefit our efforts. Ooh, I could teach her how it's done. Let's do that. Yeah, I will teach her, uh, I'll teach her a prayer. Ooh, we could do this too. That would give me divine guidance. For five years. Does this give me divine guidance? This straight up also gives me divine guidance. This is just better. What's the difference? Ah, less, we don't get opinion, but I don't need that. Let's do that. We get 300 more learning lifestyle, which is pretty good. Alright, whenever I talk about Yasmin with my wife, Malika Rabia, she always grows distant. At first I thought nothing of it, but now I'm starting to suspect that Rabia is hiding something. Uh-oh. Rabia, the daughter. Uh, no, Malika Rabia here. Uh-oh. I do not question the heritage of my daughter, Yasmin, lightly, but doubt is gnawing at my mind. Intrigue challenge against Malika Rabia. How's my intrigue? It's pretty terrible. No, we're just gonna pretend like there's nothing... Hereby invite you to a feast at my court in Alarcos. I can trust you, Shaika Isabel. Right? You're just, you're content. I'm pretty sure I can trust you. Sure. I'll go to your feast. A warm welcome. Troubled vassal. The pleading gaze I receive from my vassal Abu Bakr is taking a desperate tone. A group of guests are approaching the corner he has hidden all evening, and the walls are hindering his escape. To think a Wali would act in such a way. I'll distract the guests. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll help him out. Ah, what kind of meat is this, so rich in flavor? What are these vegetables? Almost sweet. Oh, and these wonderful little desserts. This feast is some of the best food I've ever tasted. All right, we lose more uh, stress. We gain life affirmed. That's very good. Look at that. And uh, she gained 75 uh, prestige. Good job, Isabel. Ah, farewell, my vassal. Let's, uh... Can we convert her? No, right? We already tried to do that. But she refused, interestingly enough. Neo Mualadi World was appalled to learn that my Marshal Emir Yassid has been embezzling money. Yeah, this 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 shit weasel. So he stole my or he put a claim on my title, and now he's embezzling money and repurposing it for his personal use. Um I will condemn him for his transgressions. Can I uh, imprison him? Why is embezzlement not a crime? I don't get it. That's uh, a little weird. Staring at stars. From all my evenings watching stars, I've seen with my own eyes. Okay, we're looking at retrograde motion here, planets. So, uh, let's, uh... Priest says, focus on earthly matters. 25 learning lifestyle experience, or 50. Let's see, answers in the heavens. 
That's pretty good, though. I'm gonna, I am gonna find my answers in the heavens. In this case, right? I'm humble, but I'm also, you know, I am an esoteric. All right, well, council member died. All right, yeah. Um, you can uh, mark mark down the time. <laughs> it was it was a while before it happened, though. So that's something. Okay, I'm appointing Birger here. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this at all, but our Scandinavian, our Scandinavian friend, our Swedish uh, friend here. We are appointing him. <laughs> As our marshal, because look at his fucking marshal stat, dear lord. <laughs> um, so let's actually be reestablishing some control. I would say fourteen years to reestablish control. There is it because it's distant from the capital? Maybe that's it. Still, also fourteen years. No, this is only four years. All right, that's a little better. These guys need to hurry up. Boy, my God. All right, we can uh, show Prince Hizam in. Hizam is of. Uh, Oh, he's just my brother. All right. Yeah, good that we're no longer, uh... Oh. What's he doing? Wait patiently on the throne for the arrival of Prince Izam, who is soon announced and ushered before me. He kneels in deference and attempts to bring forth his gifts of coin and precious objects. The oath is taken, and scribes record his pledges to serve Malik to serve the Malikit of Al-Andalus. Prince Hizam rises, looking awkward. From the corner of my eye, I notice my daughter, Princess Sophia of Al-Andalus, swooning, clearly besotted by the emir. Oh, great. Yeah, look, no. Bad, Sophia. It's your uncle. Dear Lord. Okay. Uh, I think we can ditch them. These guys are all dead. I uh, remove these from my... <coughs> oh, boy. A little bit of uh, Black Death. Okay, how's the situation in Leon looking? I see our truce is done. So I could invade his kingdom. Unfortunately, okay, attacking Navarra wouldn't give us much. Attacking Leon, no, this is annoying. So, Struggle Clash is really the best option. It's just going to give me a ton of titles. Costs a lot. Costs a lot. Prestige. It's costing that much prestige because of... Oh, the hostility phase should be making that cheap. Right? Struggle Clash, gosh, this belly are cheaper. Dear Lord, is it... It must be... The cost must be related to how many territories are, are being affected. Um... Ah, oh, I see. I get it. Oh, that's really cool that you can do that, actually. That is fucking cool. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, because I've got the prestige to do it this way. <laughs> and, uh... It's time we unify Iberia, right? I mean, can't form the Empire, unfortunately, but we'll get close. So, let's put a rallying point right here. And, uh, I got a lot of money, so we're gonna raise everything, and the Holy Order, and their dogs. Okay, so we're gonna send the Holy Order to attack Porto. Oh boy, that is a large army. You go there. You go there. And you go here. No, actually, you go here. Um, we'll see where everyone's going. No, you you stay right here. Stay right here to back back up our army right there. They're going to attack me soon. Okay, guys. Another child of my dynasty. That's all fine. Okay, so they've... Uh, they're coming this way. Hold on. Can you fucking pause? Thank you. Give ourselves a learning lifestyle perk. That's good. Um, I'm going to sanction loopholes. We can go to buy claim, and then we can go down to scholar. I want scholar? Scholar's pretty good. Um, let's detach a siege force. Detach another siege force. Oh, you're running now. Why are you running? I think it's a perfectly fair fight. That we're about to get ourselves into. I don't see the problem. What are they so afraid of? Let's chase them down. I want to destroy this army. I should probably reduce the speed since we're in a battle. Since we're in a war. Otherwise, this will get way out of hand. Let's move the siege force up to here. Come on. Pick the things. There we go. Can we catch them? I'm trying to catch them. I'd love to catch one of them. Nope. We're not going to catch them. And that is now a problem because we may lose these uh, forces. I'm going to pull back. Pull the siege force back. Pull this siege force back. Hurry. Win. Can you win first? 
That would be great. Alright, you won? Good. Pull back to here. Okay. Um. Where are they going? Yeah. Thought so. Mass. All they need to do is hold them for like an hour. Or a few, a few days. Oh boy. Can we take this? I don't think so. Nope, we did not. Shit. I'm gonna break the siege. Ah, that was not good. That was not good. We lost that army. It's fine. Because we'll win with this army. We better win with this army. Okay. Good victory. We've crushed them. Leave a siege force, and we need to chase their forces down. The glory is widely known. Excellent. We're not even losing that much money with the, with our full army amassed. That's very good. Now, how are we looking here? They're still attempting to take uh, Portu. The Holy Order is a little slow, but that's fine. Actually, we should put a... Uh, what do we want to put there? Do we have a siege expert anywhere? No, not really. Um, I'll put... Uh, Put him in charge. Birger is leading our army. We are being led by a uh, an absolutely terrifying Northman, which is very cool. Okay. Uh, the one problem is the uh, ooh. You want more territory, huh? <laughs> yeah. Request granted. Absolutely. Seven hundred and fifty gold to bolster our holy order. Absolutely. You guys got it. Let me know if you need anything else. The Warriors of the Faith. What, what did we call them, actually? I mean, we didn't call them anything. Right, the Warriors of the Hadith, which is very cool. I like the I like that name a lot. Okay, what I'm concerned about is that they are going to um, sweep around and attack my Holy Order. But I think we should be okay. Yeah, that, that's exactly what they're doing. See? I knew it. Um, let's move our force over there. Hey, where are you looking? We should be able to counter them. Okay, that's concerning. Hopefully they don't come for me. No, they don't seem interested in me. Okay, they're moving further into my territory. That's fine. I'd rather they... I'd rather do a goose chase through my own lands than through enemy lands. Oh, we even caught half of them out. Rip you guys. And that entire army is wiped out. I feel like this entire army is about to be wiped out, too. Oh, they're not looking good. They're not looking good. We did lose our little siege force there. That is, uh, that is very annoying. Um, so these armies here... ...with what they're doing, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, how they're, uh, kind of rampaging through the lands I'm trying to conquer. Ah, we've discovered Menorialism. All right. So, manorialism, good, if I'm remembering right, allows us to build Tier 2 cities and Tier 2 chapels. Let's build a Tier 2 chapel right here, right now. Uh, let's build another one right here, right now. And let's build a Tier 2 city right here, right now. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Pertuba. We're gonna make Pertuba the jewel of the world. Rome ain't gonna have shit on Pertuba. Okay, so we need a new Chief Kadi, because uh, we just lost our Chief Kadi. Just died, so uh, we can appoint uh, Shaika Isabel. Isabel has been a uh, good vassal of ours. She is a wise woman as well. She's a bit of a ha hashishia, but uh, you know that's fine. She's pretty well suited for the job, so I'm gonna give the give the job to her. Okay, they have a little army here. Uh, detach a siege force again. I'm a little concerned about them. Okay, they're gonna try and retake their land. We're gonna prevent that. And obliterate their army. Okay, so that was King Gomez's, uh... Oh, another counselor died. Of course. We've lost... What did we lose, actually? Council... Ah, Abdul Rahman, my, uh... Shit. Abdul Rahman was my, uh... My Alama, right? No, I may be getting that confused. But we can actually appoint a new Alama, which we definitely should. Abdul Rahman Ibn Nasir... Ibn Nazar of Kolumria, who we elevated. Look at his... Stats. This man... He's a knowledgeable man. Less knowledgeable than myself, but that's a very high bar to meet. So I'm gonna appoint him as our new Alama here. He's a craven, and he's lazy, and he's fickle. Those are not good traits. But I think on pure knowledge alone, we're gonna have to put him into this position, because he's going to be able to help us convert these territories far quicker. 
Right, my daughter-in-law has given birth to uh, with uh, Svenislava. Ah, excellent, Abdul Hakan. All right, um, what do I do with this? Let's let's move up to here. Like right, fancy, the renowned inventor Hakima has sought me out with a very odd petition, carrying a pair of wings made from wood and silk. Long have humans luck. Okay, th this again. Um, so I can fly. Yeah, I'll fly. All right. I've seen the world from above. Cool. Great. More learning. Now I have 37 learning, which is, uh, you know, it's kind of good. It seemed worse. So. The Wrath of Heaven. My Fari, or Faris, uh, Abdul Hassan's faith is distorted, or face is distorted with fear when I visit the barracks. Abdullah is trying to help him and raises an eyebrow when he sees me. Will you at least tell my, tell your lord what happened? Abdul Hassan lifts his head immediately. My lord, what I saw was not meant to be seen. Figures were throwing stones made of black powder from the battlements. The stones lit on fire and thundered as they hit their enemies. They cut a man in two, my lord. Abdullah nods with interest. Perhaps if we too could have that power. Yes. Give us lightning stones. <laughs> All right, we're gonna besiege the capital. We've taken this. Um, I'm gonna have my siege force just assist up here. Actually, I think here's the best place. They have a uh, very low numbers. So I think with the completion of one more siege, we should win this war and drastically increase the territory. That we control. That's like seven, eight counties that we're about to add to our realm, which is pretty huge. Uh, we'll need to sort them out, of course. We're going to have some uh, people that are not going to be happy with our rule. But, like I said, we'll make it work for us. Look at that. We'll gain 820 or 825 fame. Um, I didn't really use any of my allies, so look at that. All right, let's disband our armies. Can I? Oh, we're still at war. Oh shit. Santiago and clash against the county of uh, Ipuzcoa. Oh, okay, so they must have been trying to invade. Yeah, that, that explains what those other armies were doing here. So I will deal with them. I don't think they have any idea of what they're about to get themselves into. <laughs> you guys, uh... You came to the wrong country, fool. <laughs> All right, let's amass here. Take this territory. I think once we take this army, that should be over. Like, I don't think they're recovering from that in any way, shape, or form. Ah, invite to activity. To the handsome Malik Ubaid of Al-Andalus, you and I should be friends. Please accept my invitation to partake in relaxing activity. Uh, I can trust you, I think. Duke Alfonso. Sure. Don't murder me. Nice, our far race, uh, killed one of the enemies. And the war's over. <laughs> cool. Enforce demands. So we'll get some money out of that. He'll have to spend prestige. And we gain some prestige. Nice. Victory. A realm is once again at peace. I have way too many holdings. So we're going to have to give up a lot of these. And that's fine. I'm willing to do that. So. We need to... Uh, let's see here. You are a Castilian and a Catholic... You're a, uh, uh, no one's in control here. Let's look and see what the titles that we can create. Ooh, we can usurp titles. We can usurp the Duchy of Vizcaya up here. Let's do that. Cool. So, Vizcaya. No one is currently under control. Uh, we have her, Nicorez. She looks kind of scary. Um, she's not very capable, so we're going to give Vizcaya to a, uh, a good Muladi. Some kind. Um, let's see here. It's going to have to be, uh, preferably somebody within my dynasty. I think is, uh... Dynasty. Make sure they're in the Yusufid dynasty. Um, should make sure they are unlanded. Ruler. Not ruler. That way we can kind of shape these new territories here to our own liking. If he's ambitious, we don't want that. Otherwise, he's good, though. Um, okay, here we go. Shaika. Oh, she's already a Shaika. 
Or is her name just Shika? Her name is just Shika. Her husband is a Shike. There we go. Okay, so that's why we can't do that. And, uh, yeah, alright. We're still, we're still good here. I could give my son some territory, but honestly, he's pretty terrible, so... I'd rather not. So this guy is a Zealot. Jair. Might be good for, uh, kind of speed converting these territories. Or Himi here is quite capable. I'm gonna give it to him, actually. We're gonna give him Vizcaya. And the Taifa of Vizcaya as well. There you go. Wonderful. We have some more territories that we can create, or titles that we can create. We can create the Duchy of Lyon. We will. Lyon, very cool. I like that they uh, they change up the uh, the spelling of it once again. Okay, so that's going to be here. So we have these two territories. Uh, one of these is already. So this is under Shaika Rai. Um, I don't want to create too much border gore, so we're going to have to give Salamanca to somebody who is going to be. Uh, Capable as a ruler. Preferably somebody that is content, but has a good stat line and isn't a horrible person like that guy. Um, but if we don't have any good content... Actually, you're very good, but you're my court tutor. Will we lose you as our court tutor? I think we will, because you're going to be a ruler. So I'm not going to do that. She's a very good tutor. Um... I could, I could give it to my brother. Balashkir. Does he control anything directly? He does not. I'm going to give him some territory. Since we've made up, you know, I feel like it's not the worst idea. So we're going to give him... Um, we're going to give him Leon. Yep, there you go. All yours. That should make him happy. Alright, uh, so the rest of these territories, we're going to have to sort out. Um, we need money, though, because uh, we need to build territories up. But, you know what, we're going we're gonna to do it this way. Um, I'm just going to give them out right now. You, Jair, here. I'm going to... Hold on. I didn't already give you something, did I? I feel like I did, but maybe not. Okay, so we're going to grant him um, Bragancha. Braganza, sorry. Wait. Fuck. Sorry, hold on. Um, because we gave... We gave out Salamanca. Or did we not? Oh, I see. I, I screwed up. Uh, I'm gonna give him Salamanca. Yeah, here we go. All yours. Um, okay, so Braganza is going to go to um, Jair here. Not going to give him that. Okay. That'll be good. Um, so we have this territory here, which is all de jure part of Castile. So I'm just going to give it all to one person. Um, and we need to make sure that it's going to be to somebody that is going to be loyal to us. Gera Bintizam here. She's quite capable, but she's deceptive. I don't think I like that. You're an Emira already. You're ambitious. I don't want that. I might give it to her, Amat, here. To Atika. She's just. So, Amat here is patient, generous... And compassionate. I think that's all a pretty good. We're gonna we're gonna give these territories to her. We'll give her uh, that. We will give her um, Burgos as well, and I think that's gonna solve our problems. Right? Yep. We're all good. Cool. All right, so then we just need to uh, unify the uh, lands. Okay, you want you want to have them ransomed? Sure, no problem. Uh, let's actually look at our prisons here, because I'm pretty sure we have other people that we can ransom. Count Vela here. Uh, we could ransom him. We have him renounce his claims. Actually, let's do that. Wally Manuel. We'll ransom him. And you. 
We'll, uh, we'll have him convert. We can leave. We have ourselves a new learning lifestyle perk where we are going to take Scholar. All right. So now I'm going to go out of learning because uh, I don't need to go down into profit or anything. And I think we're going to go down into... Uh, actually, what's my next best stat? It is diplomacy, but I don't really like the diplomacy tree a whole lot. I just don't really think it's as good as the other ones. It's good when you're not independent. I mean, it's good, mind you, but I don't think it's as good. Uh, so we're, we're going to go down Wealth Focus, right? Do we need to... Here, hold on. Hold on. I just want to make sure that there's nothing that we can't do that would increase the culture. Or increase the, uh, the faith conversion or the cultural conversion. Because those are very important things that we need to do right now. Um... I don't think that's actually going to, uh, yeah. All right, then we're going to go down Wealth Focus. Wealth Focus is just generally pretty good. Grant Vassals to Rightful Liege. Um, sure. And here, yeah. Okay, awesome. Uh, we should repair the charting of the human body. It's been a very helpful book. We can negotiate up to four alliances, which we will do all four. These are guys we appointed into power from our own dynasty. We should definitely have ally or alliances with them. Make us even stronger. All right, so now we just need to wait a little bit until we can create these uh, other duchy titles, which we're going to give out, of course. And then we can create more kingdom titles, which I can then hold all four of. It would be wild. I'll basically hold all of the kingdom titles in Iberia. <laughs> be pretty nuts. All right, so let's create the uh, the Duchy of uh, Castile right here. All right, so that's going to give us some uh, prestige. And um, so we had given this to uh, you, Amat Wahab. So we're going to give her Castile. Alquila, is that what it's called? The Ifa of Alquila. Okay, that's interesting. Cool. Like it. A secret exposed. My nephew, Sheikh Tuwais, has accused my brother Abbas of having an extramarital affair with his lover, Luis. Oh, God. Come on, guys. Get over it. What do we got going on here? Um, okay. She's very competent. Nope, not interested. Uh, speaking of court, though, I actually probably should look at things. We have new swords. We have Count Boson, uh, Boson's sword here. We're using a fine sword. I think it's the better weapon. Uh, oh, we have a pressed orchid. Fertility, that's not that great. Compared to our other ones. Alright. Um, let's negotiate an alliance with her. You can imprison up to four criminals. Emira Rahat. What's your deal? Why are you a criminal? Ooh. You're a kinslayer, an adulterer, and a murderer. Let me guess, you murdered your husband. No, you didn't. Okay. You're not a very good person. And Prince Ahmad here, my brother. He is a, uh... Ah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's what happened. He slept with my spouse. Okay, yeah, that's when we, uh... I wasn't aware that that was him. Oh, that's fucked up. Fine, we've forgiven him, I guess. We're a very forgiving person. <laughs> uh, sometimes you, uh, you you miss little things that uh, come by. Or it's been so long. Maybe I did catch it then. I don't know. Uh, so Sheikh Nuno is a witch. We don't want that. But there's also no chance that we're going to catch him. So let's let's not worry about it. All right, so as soon as we have money, we can create the uh, the Duchy of Portugal, and uh, from there, I think we should be pretty good with our northern borders. Should be not stable yet, but uh, at the very least, they should be under uh, good hands that can make them stable. That'll be important. Any minute now. How old are we, by the way? We're only 47. 
though I assume we have many long years of life ahead of us, I don't think we're going to be able to uh, end the struggle here, um, just because that's going to take so damn long, all of this. I really wish there was a way to hasten it a little. Overt overindulgence. My Malik, my courtier Abdullah, he just won't stop eating. Oh, it's this again. My antiquarian. Okay, um, yeah, he needs to pull himself together. <laughs> we could throw him into the dungeon for eating the roasted almonds. We could bar him from the pantry. Oh. Well, we'll have him pull himself together. I'm concerned about him. He's a good man. He just needs to lay off the roasted almonds. All right, Duchy of Portugale, Portugal. Interesting. Okay, again, I I like the uh, the way how they alter the names. Okay, so we are going to give that to him. He'll become the Taifa here. Jair. All right. Congrats. All is looking pretty good. So now we just need the kingdom titles. Okay, Daoud has been swayed. That's good. So now that he's been swayed, pretty sure. We can convert him. Excellent. And we did. Alright. Um, okay, Ubaid here is going to be either fickle, or we can have him be content, or trusting. We'll give him trusting. Rather have him be trusting. And, uh, ooh, we have a blacksmith. Metalsmith inspiration. Ah, she's only very competent. I'm just not interested in mediocre artifacts. Okay, so now we need to seriously consider certain things. Uh, for one, what do we need to avenge the Battle of Tours? We need to con completely control the region of Iberia, and we need to completely control the region of Southern Francia. We're gonna do it, guys. I don't have Iberia yet, but... And I may wait for Francia until we actually control and end the struggle, then we can do the... Um, Avenging the Battle of Tours is kind of the final hurrah for the campaign, and I think that'll be really cool. Um, though I, I'll be perfectly honest with you, I do also kind of want to dismantle the papacy, just for fun. <laughs> Can we found a new Empire title? That might be good. We could, we could do that, actually. We could found a new Empire. Maybe I should save up money to, to do that. Right, greetings, my perceptive liege. I would be delighted if your daughter Yasmin could visit my court of Najera to meet her peers. Sure. Sure thing. Uh, okay, she, again, she wants to invite me. Uh, Isabel. Isabel has, uh, has been a good, uh, good pal of mine. She may be of the old Mualadi faith, but, uh, you know, that's fine. We'll, we'll convert her eventually, I'm sure. She'll, she'll come around. Alright, beast, troubled vassal. Completing gaze. Oh, this guy again? Come on, Ubuckker. Grow a pair. You gotta stand for yourself. I'll, I'll protect him, though. I'm a good man. Alright, beast, the bottom of the tankard. I'm not drinking. Um, no thanks. That is a, uh, not a very Muslim thing to do. And I do wish that the, uh, the events were a little bit more, um, that you had a bit more control over that. For the uh, Islamic factions. Okay, so now I'm apparently a reveler. All right. Well. Okay, that's uh, that's all right. Revelry. Uh, so the reveler trait. I mean, it's only a good trait actually, so it's really not a bad thing to have. It doesn't have any penalties. Um, let's see. We could hold court. We haven't done that in a while. Let's do it. All right. First in line. I regret to inform you that I am at the end of my tether. My vassal Valia Khadija is clearly exasperated. The people over which I rule are, un are an uncontrollable mob of unruly barbarians with ridiculous customs and terrible taste for food. All my efforts so far have been in vain. It just seems impossible to make civilized people out of them. I'm afraid a strong intervention from above is the only solution now. We respect the tradition of our subjects. Okay, uh, I was kind of hoping that we could uh, do like a speedy conversion, but uh, apparently that's not an option. Okay. A haggard-looking peasant now stands in front of me. My lord, 
I beg for your help. A monster prowls the roads. Okay, it's the monster uh, thing. A monster prowls, prowls in the mountains of Soria, killing cattle and farmers alike. Few have seen it, but the mangled remains of its poor victims leave no doubt. It's clearly a huge wolf, as bloodthirsty as few have ever seen. Please send your strongest hunters and save us from its voracious jaws. Okay, uh, what's my what's my prowess again? Fourteen. You know what? We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go fight it ourselves. I'm faced with the with Ailu Bint two ice Himi's sad eyes, which grow larger and more pitiful as her acquaintance Dima gently ushers her towards my throne. Malik, she laments, this girl has been at Wahida's court, with no one to watch over her since the arrest of her dear mama. Please look to her future. Okay. Um. Daughter of Emira. Okay. Uh. You know what? I'll raise her myself. Fine. I'm raise her to be loyal to me. I don't see anything wrong with this. All right. Well, wasn't as good as we hoped. New acquisitions. During the daily management of my realm, I have learned of several different opportunities I can pursue. Each opportunity has great potential, but realistically, I can only pursue one of them. I must determine what would ultimately give me the most value. So I could get a Lost Tome here, which would give me a very good book artifact. That could be good. We could get a weak hook favor on Wahida here. That could also be good. Um, is she? She is a clan tier, so never mind. Or we could get 500 gold. Do it. 500 gold is a lot of gold. And with 500 gold. Oh boy. We got the monster of Soria. As my preparations completed, I set out with a selected group of guards to face the infamous monster that is terrorizing Soria. It doesn't take us long to find it. A clear trail of blood leads straight to the creature's abode. I was already informed of what to expect, but when the massive wolf stands in front of me, I can't help but shiver. Face me, foul beast! Okay, 0% chance of dying, but 40% chance that I become wounded. Uh, let's, let's go for it. Oh yeah! I'm now also a novice hunter. Look at that. Wow, we're kicking ass. Our... <laughs> Ubaidir is uh, a, a unit. <laughs> hmm. Oh, but you still need more money. Your lord. Oh. Oh, no, we can't do that. So, theoretically, we may be able... I, I don't know if we can. Oh, shit. We lost our Seneschal. Let's get ourselves a new Seneschal. Um, court positions here. Empty court positions. Excuse me. Um, what? Special. Ah, ah, I see. <laughs> right, we should uh, get some of these here. Uh, let's get ourselves a new High Almoner. We don't really have a good one. What about an Architect? Abu Bakr? Yeah, you're pretty good. We'll point you. Uh, High Almoner, we just checked that a second ago. Uh, we do need a new Seneschal. Uh, I don't really... Actually, we can... Mm, Balash here. I don't... I don't trust it. We'll appoint her. She's only average at the job, but she'll get better. Yeah. Um. You know, let's get a court poet. Literally no one can be a court poet. What about a musician? Princess Sophia, my daughter, actually. Sure. We'll appoint her as a court musician. That's cool. And we need a master of the horse. Um. Ab Abdul Hassan here. Of Garnata. Give it to him. I don't want to give my brother anything. You know, we may no longer be rivals, I've forgiven him, but I still don't trust him. Alright, we're looking good. That's a bit better. Okay, what do we got going on here? Oh, uh, get over it. Alright, um... And gifts. Ah, we've received a gift of 150 gold from Wali Hakam of Guadiato. Nice, thank you, sir. And, uh, yeah, so here we are. Found a new empire. I mean... That's pretty cool, right? That's going to solve our succession problem. Let's go! A realm reforged. I have done what no one else could. I have united the lands of Al-Andalus with those of Al-Sark and Janjir. All my vassals and imams have finally gathered before my throne. I have learned it, this moment in their eyes, and more importantly, in the eyes of Allah. It is only right that I take... That I place the crown upon my head as my servants, both temporal and spiritual, bow to me. The Firids reign supreme. All right, look at that. The Firid Empire. We are mighty. 
our realm is fully unified. It will not fracture anymore. Well, not unless, uh, it will not fracture from succession anymore. All right, he's going to pay me. That's all good. And, uh, I think, okay, Malika has come of age. She is a, uh, yeah, not very good. Adequate bargainer. That's fine. I mean, get her married. Excellent. And, uh, this is where I'm going to end today's episode, guys. This was, uh, pretty eventful. We... Chunked away about half of the Kingdom of Lyon. We formed the Fyrdred Empire. What else did we do? Uh, I mean, we built... We're turning Kurtuba into basically just like... The absolute jewel... Of, uh... The modern world. And, and, and we killed a big wolf. <laughs> all in all... Malik Ubaid... Malik Al-Muazam Ubaid is, uh... Looking pretty good. Pretty capable ruler. Alright, guys. Um, we'll be back to a uh, pretty regular upload schedule, so one episode every two to three days. So basically a uh, between two and three episodes a week, once again, now that I'm back. So no more worry, or don't worry about, uh, you know, no episodes for a week anymore. And uh, yeah, leave it a like if you've enjoyed it. And uh, again, leave comments if you have anything that you want to say. That all helps the algorithm, and it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. So I thank you to everybody that has been doing so. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Ash Herder out.